Welcome to the FinHacks Quants channel, research and development video 2 of 4. What would happen if Elon Musk's Neuralink interfaces were to connect the FinHacks Quants Price Prediction Intelligence FI, to Human Brain's General Intelligence HI. Do you believe by using a machine AI to rev up human intelligence, this natural process users might be able to tune their brains to recognize important details into human perceivable deciphered price prediction matrix? What would happen if AI acts as a human brain boosting device that could give human intelligence some superpowers? Or would our investors be able to see through the deciphered matrix and continue placing some big big bets right before future financial events? These are the areas we are going to discuss in four videos each three minutes long. Neuralink Startup shares how it will connect your brain with computer. These brain-boosting devices could give us FinHacksQuant's investment intelligence superpowers. The era of merging our minds with technology has begun. Already, we can hack the brain to treat diseases such as Parkinson's or help paralyzed people move again. But what if you could install a chip in your head that would not only fix any health issues, but could amp up your brain power? Would you remember every word said during a meeting, finish crossword puzzles faster, drive better thanks to enhanced senses, pick up a new language before your next trip, have investment returns better than Warren Buffett? In Musk's view, we'll have to keep pace with ever smarter artificial intelligence by implanting a neural lace or sci-fi inspired machine interface that will make us smarter. Under any rate of advancement in AI, we will be left behind by a lot, Musk said. The benign situation with ultra-intelligent AI is that we would be so far below in intelligence we'd be like a pet or a house cat. Super smart AI isn't right around the corner, and Musk's goal of creating brain implants for healthy people in just 8 to 10 years might not be realistic. But scientists are hard at work on technology that could boost our mental skills. Some of these gadgets could be worn right on the skin, but the most powerful ones will be nestled in the brain. Here's how they might work. The first steps towards using computers to upgrade our mental skills will be improving the connection between brains and machines. Initial developments will beef up our senses and allow us to control robots from a distance, says Kevin Warwick, an emeritus cybernetics professor at Coventry University and Reading University in the United Kingdom. Technology that can use the electrical signals crackling through our nervous systems to help command computers already exists in some form. People with severe paralysis can use brain-computer interfaces to control a cursor on a screen. Others have been able to move robotic limbs or fly planes. Researchers can also use the technology to deliver messages to the brain. By sending an electric current into the correct neurons, scientists have been able to restore a person's sense of touch or hearing, treat tremors caused by Parkinson's, or send very simple signals from one brain to another. Researchers are now exploring whether these technologies could also sharpen certain cognitive skills. One non-invasive technique called transcranial direct current stimulation works by sending electricity through the scalp. Some scientists, and DIY brain hackers, hope it can help improve skills like learning and memory. But it's not clear yet if this brain zapping technology is effective. Thank you for your time and attention in watching, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment and switch on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new project or idea. FinHacksQuant's research and development end of video 2 of 4, we'll see you in the next video.